Saturday lunchtime on BBC One. Now the news with Mason Mulwiney. Hello, good afternoon. Fears are growing for many mountaineers who remain unaccounted for following snowstorms and avalanches in the Himalayas, which have killed at least 39 people in recent days. A number of British climbers are among those feared to be missing, although there is no confirmation that any Britons were caught up in the disaster. Helicopters and rescue teams are searching remote mountain sites in Nepal in the hope of finding more survivors. From Kathmandu, Andrew North reports. Now, thousands of public sector workers have been gathering in central London and Glasgow and Belfast in a march to demand higher pay. The protests have been organised by the Trades Union Congress. Well, our employment correspondent, John Moylan, is there for us. And John, what are they saying there? Well, the march, as you can see, has uh, just got underway in the last few minutes. Tens of thousands expected here. I've been looking around. There's a lot of people here in central London today. And they're all united, of course, under this theme of Britain needs a pay rise. The organisers, the TUC, are saying that average wages right across the economy have fallen by around £50 a week in real terms since 2008. And they say that the fruits of this economic recovery that we're seeing are simply not being shared with the lowest paid people right across the economy. And of course, these demonstrations we're seeing today are a culmination of a week in which we saw the first strike over pay in the health service. Now I want to take you back to our top story, the missing climbers in the Himalayas. We can join our correspondent Andrew North now with all the latest. And, and how much concern is there at this point now, Andrew, about those they still haven't found? I think it's still going to be some time before we get a full picture of just how a big a disaster this was. Andrew, thank you. Now don't forget you can see more on that and all of today's stories with me over on the BBC News Channel. The next news here on BBC One though is at 20 past five this afternoon. Until then, bye for now.